Hello, Commander! Let's not waste any time. We've got a huge update to cover. Regular War Robots experience can get hectic with so many things beyond your control. But in this new mode, you rely only on yourself. There are your robots, your wits, and the wild legions of Grey Swarm. Extermination is a PvE mode with Berion challenge levels. We'll be introducing new stages every now and then. The difficulty and the rewards go up with each tier. We wanted to provide challenge for all hunger and skill levels, from newbie pilots to mastodon commanders boasting multiple hungers. It's time to dust off your backup robots, since certain high-level challenges will require not one, but two hangers to complete. Grey Swarm is not as smart, are not as strong, are not as proficient at trash talk as player opponents. For what they lack, they make up in sheer quantity. Every grey bot is like a chess piece, requiring you to adapt to constantly shifting battle situations. And various gameplay modificators like speed buffs to all your robots keep things fresh. The best part? You can replay it over and over. No entry tickets required. Change your approach, tweak your hangar, blow off some steam. This playground is entirely yours to crack open. The scavengers were the first to experience the rise of Grey Swarm. The spiderbot raids got more and more frequent. Due to that, the dangers of scavenger lifestyle has skyrocketed. Now there is a major divide rising within scavenger ranks. What must they do to survive? Some of them, led by Roberto Barros, prefer to fortify their positions on Earth and fight back. Others, like Adam O'Leary, chose to build a spaceship to get the hell out of this planet. Who will succeed? We'll see in this event. With all this Grey Swarm problem on our way, it's time to get serious. Um, I'm sorry, but really, consider getting serious. This hovering titan can both aggressively control the territory with a deployable attack turret and provide great HP restoration and remote repairs with a support turret. When the turrets are deployed, they walk in the zone around you. As far as the support titans go, this one is pretty serious. <laughs> I'm sorry again. Now, Sirius pairs nicely with the new ever better weapons. They are 600 meter range, winding up auto cannons that deal acoustic damage. There is also an alpha version of that called Veyron. Let's briefly go through the remaining new items. Titan Repair Amplifier module is a good defense option for Titans. Harold Dan gives Tasia, Yoshi, Wonder weapons more shooting time until they need to cool off. And finally, a scavenger's representative, Pilot Warren Azu, will pump up your Ares. Move over, Minji, you are not that cool anymore. Among all robot equipment, drones always felt like they're kind of on a sidewalk. Few players will to engage with them fully, most just opted for a few cookie cutter builds. But even with that, drones created all kinds of problems, which we are addressing with this overhaul. Starting this update, each drone will have a fixed ability set that you can unlock with upgrades. This should give each drone more personality and better balance while also making fights more comprehensible. If you see a drone, you can tell exactly what tricks it has and play skillfully around that. Also, you will now equip drones on your robots exactly like you do with modules or pilots. The drone selection screen is gone, meaning you can deploy into fight much faster. As you have probably noticed, microchips are nowhere to be seen. Here they are. All your microchips will be converted into a new currency, called fittingly microchips. You use it to upgrade drones along with regular upgrade tokens. You can find all the details on the conversion, as well as extra details on the drones, in the article on the Warrobot's website. I've told you, this update is a big one. I wasn't lying. We hope you'll love the new extermination mode, if not for the fun it provides, then for the resources it delivers. And to help you rebuild your drones, 
we will provide you with supply drops of microchips, an upgrade token and a free barrel tier 4 drone. Be sure to log in daily after the drone overhaul goes online to claim everything. Happy hunting, commanders! Every grey bot is like a chess piece, requiring you to adapt constantly to shift in battle situation. Among all robot equipment, drones always... Happy hunting, commanders!